Okay, so the door that's closest to that group is the door that we came in, correct? Closest to the people mm -hmm. outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the main entrance is on the square. You guys came in on a side door, and it yeah. sort of overlooks. It's like the, the door to the offices, which are above the pit. Yeah. And then there's a big, big uh, utility door on the opposite wall. So you've got offices. This is like a catwalk up here. So you've got offices nearby where you're at up here. But yeah, the only if doors into the building are the side door you came in. And the main door. The main door. And then the entrance for the fuel. Freight door. Because I'm thinking Freight about door. rigging up a little bit of a trap for the door that they're most likely to go through to give us a little bit of a preemptive strike, if you will. Well, the easiest door to open to gain quick access is the main door. How far away are we from that? Uh, maybe seven, eight meters. Unless we can just jump down to it. How big is it? It's a double door. So it's like three meters tall, about five meters wide. I'll rig a frag grenade to go off when uh, a standard frag grenade to go off when it opens. All right, it's going to be dexterity demolitions. Well, your make do, you got two dots in make do. Okay. Yeah, that's going to cover any penalty I'm going to give you. Four. Okay. Your trap is rigged. And then the second part of the thing opens. Boom. As. I will drop my chain, still taking a defensive stance, just switching to uh, Kung Fu, which will drop my overall defense one. Uh, but I'm just going to be like, look, Admiral, like I've said, you honored Thay Loon in his life. I don't want to take that from you. I merely wish to learn about him and the ways of my ancestors. There's no need for us to fight. Sure. Again, things are kind of not going anywhere for me. I, I'm heavily tempted to attack. Shoot this guy. There's a lot of different targets you could go at right now. Yeah, he looks confused. He he and the old woman are both kind of like, what's going on? <laughs> Why is everybody it's running a big time to shoot him? What are you going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't know. Thinking. Look to your virtue and vice. Virtue and vice. Faith and pride. We do have a plan. Do have a plan. I'm taking another aim action. Okay. I'm going to sit there until something goes to heck. I guess I'm not doing much. So far, it's kind of going how we expected. Which was to heck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll wait till Blaster Fire starts going off. As soon as um, I hear his gun go off, then I'll shoot. About half the crowd on the front break off and start running towards the power generator. Well, they're going to go boom. <laughs> <laughs> They've got weapons. They are now combatants. They're not civilians. Some of them may be, but... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hey, I protected the innocents. The ones with the guns coming to pay me a visit now are going to pay for paying me a visit. How do you know they're combatants? They could know that their loved ones were working in there. Admiral looks at you. He says, Do you, do you relinquish your claim on my relic? <laughs> if you want to fight him, no. If you don't want to fight him, then yes. I made no claim. It was my grandfather's. I thought you were handing it to me. I merely wish to learn his ways. Manipulation persuasion. Minus two. Plus the willpower I'm going to spend. <laughs> you are popping those out like candy. I need this stuff to work. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, quite literally, I depend on it. Two. He sort of stands a little straighter. He's not in the attack pose anymore. I'm still in the defensive pose. <laughs> And he kind of nods. What are you going to do when the grenade goes off? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know there's a grenade. 
so he'll have to uh, ad lib that when the time comes. The weak way that was running towards the cathedral raises his arm, and a, a line shoots out. Mm. Up he goes. Sorry, I don't have that trick. No, my trick is just running right through the front door. <laughs> Hank is going to be ready in action to fire on anything that she deems worthy of being fired upon. That's what I should have done. Zidane will attempt to slip his bonds again. Okay, still not there yet. Grawlock. Mm, what is this front door made out of? They've built an edifice around the cargo ramp for okay. the ship. So the ramp is down. And the edifice is sort of built around it. It's not really a door. It's just like a whole entryway. Yeah. All right. So I just run right in. Sweet. If you wish. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, I'm going to have half the population of this village right on top of me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to keep running right in. And there she is. Hello. <laughs> the one that you confronted the other night. And as soon as she sees you. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's my move, is getting in there. I will uh, shoot her. Shoot her. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to do this uh, a little quiet, more quietly. So I'm going to basically do the same thing that we did last time we met. Holster the gun, pull out the... Yep, pull out the stun, st stun tetsubo. Alright. <gasps> and uh, push the button. <laughs> <laughs> I would yell traitor, but you know, but that's obviously not the case. <laughs> not quite the same weapon either. What are your virtue advice? My virtue is fortitude. I haven't decided how to put the device. The Nautilin Hisco picks up Zidane, slings him over his shoulder. And when you attempt to yank the rope, the, the rope away from Judy. This is all happening in the course of a couple seconds, right? Yep. Wow. Same dice ball, just different stats. Yeah, he takes it from her. Handily. Interesting. What's he gonna do with side air? And there's a hostage. Oh, that's why. Dang it. Come on, Samantha the Elves. You go early. As soon as somebody touched that door, this is going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah, but you don't know that. I don't know that. Player as a player, I know that. Kaboom, kaboom. I didn't think too strong grenades would be that loud. They're grenades. They're that loud. Have you been around or used or had an active grenade? No, but I've watched plenty of videos, live videos. They're not the same, but... No, they're not. Good enough. As close as I get. Done fireworks, firecrackers. <coughs> Noisemakers. She starts throwing switches. And the lights go out. I mean, it's daytime, so... It's just darker in here, a little bit. But now the crowd goes. Ah! The attendant effect. Now it's chaos and anarchy. Survival of the fittest. I think the fittest are the people with the bigger guns. Well, I'm waiting for the people with the bigger guns to come try to knock down, knock on my front door. Okay. Now we get to the mini boss fight. <laughs> the mini boss fight. Huh? Yep. You and the she. Jedi. Well, at least she doesn't have a lightsaber. Because that would really idea. ruin my day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she comes in at you. Okay. What is your defense and armor? My defense is four, and against melee or like non energy attacks, my armor is six. So ten? Yeah. Oh. Oh. She's going to do something real quick. She just activated something. Yeah. Successfully, it seems. Yep. She 
she's going to spend a point of willpower so that she has something in the dice pool. <laughs> Dang. And she gets nine again. And got no successes. Yes. What'd she swipe with? Her claws? No, the Naginata spear that she's got. Mm. Think. Yep. Off the shield. So what did she swing with? She's fighting you with her spear with her okay. Naginata. Oh yeah, yeah. Naginata versus Tetsubo. What is the wins? Jacked. Your turn. I've got that set up. The power is down. I'm gonna flip on my helmet to make sure that I'm 100 percent able to see with no penalties inside the area. And I'm going to step back probably nine to ten meters and then give a few of the get the heck out of dodge information that we're not leaving that way, so we might want to leave another way. Okay. Yes. Um, you have successfully talked your way out of this. Successfully talked my way out of fighting him for the moment. I don't know the grenade is strapped to the door where all the citizens are that we're supposed to be saving are running to. I don't know about his fight over there. I figure he's high on, too high on death sticks to do anything. I do see them yanking around my falling, and I look at Admiral and I say, please help me get my crewmen to safety, and I run after the guy that's manhandling my crewmate. Manipulation oh. persuasion. Minus... Spend power on this one? <laughs> uh, minus two. I'm not, because if he doesn't come and help me, I'm still going to go help the guy. Okay. I, he's not in a position where he wants to attack me for the moment. <laughs> that is no successes. Okay. In this, can I get close enough to the guy to attack him, though? I don't know how far away am I. What's your movement? 11? Or can I just get up to him? No, yeah, you could you could uh, uh, attack him. Attack. Then that is what I will do. <laughs> do you remember there's a guy with a uh, rotary chick. blaster cannon? Girl. A chick, sorry. There is a Yusum with a rotary blaster cannon. Aiming. Can my attack be to try and yank the bonds away so that he doesn't have the falling? The falling's over his shoulder. Oh, it's over his shoulder. Can it be? You can attempt to grab the falling. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. okay. Would that? How would? How would that work? Grapple. And would um, my kung fu play a part in this? It's a grapple test. Um. So I don't think your kung fu would. But it's basically a touch attack. So it's going to be dexterity brawl. And it's the same as strength brawl for me. Okay. And then if you catch him, uh, you're going to subtract uh, his defense is four. This part of the action I will be spending a willpower on. Okay. And then I will have one left to spend. <laughs> Two successes. All right. Now it's an opposed dexterity strength test. <laughs> In the meantime, he's like, fellas, fellas, no need to fight over me. <laughs> Plenty of me to go around. Four successes. Yeah, you got him. Nice. You run up, and basically <laughs> the, the falling is like, <laughs> <laughs> and you grab him, yank him, and comes right, and the falling isn't able to maintain, or the not alone isn't able to hold him. Off he comes. Let's go. <laughs> What's the damage on the frag grenade? It is... I got that one written down. Unfortunate. Uh, 2 out plus 3. So, so plus 3. 7, and it's got knocked back on it too. You got 4 successes on the placement? Yep. It's plus 2, or 2, and, and then... Nothing. I rolled none. Okay. So it's just the base damage. The, the guaranteed damage. Which is three? Okay. Okay, nobody died. And it's got knocked down. Which is 
they make uh, is it... it has to be in excess of their size. Oh, okay. Well, that's not. That's not. Ah. Yeah. There's not much left of the door. Yeah. The whole point was to make somebody think twice. <laughs> you see that. <laughs> okay, stuff just went to hell in the handbasket. I'm taking my shot. <laughs> yes, that is your turn. And I have two aim actions on that, so that gives me one dice per. Yes. Per one dice per. Up oh. to your composure. Okay. Well, that's all I can take. Anyways, so dexterity, fifteen. I love how Alex two, is clearly three, perturbed by the fact that he has a dice ready. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> and he has three armor. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more, and then minus three. So there's my. There we go. This has nine again. Yeah. Well, the false prophet's gone. Essentially. One, two, three, four. Maybe not. Four. Ow. <coughs> four. Lethal. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that hurts. Admiral ignites his lightsaber and then Starts. stands between you and Khan the Rude. Nah. <laughs> and now you got a bunch of people at the ship looking for you. He looks right at you. Five, six stealth. No, you just shot. Therefore, oh. your stealth is gone. He also oh. has the force. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. He wasn't trying to see you. He was trying to see you. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Do you have any armor, Kaz? Uh, only against fashion. Brace yourself, lad. Is this really going to hell? No, it's going to hell in a hat. Hell, 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 hell. Yeah. Hell in a handbasket. Well, we'll just hope that, seeing as you were being non lethal, they will show the same restraint. On the other hand, there's been some explosions and One laser shot. shots. All right. You take a stun blast. From inside the ship, you will take one box of bashing and need to succeed in a resolve stamina roll. Get more than one success. Wait, like the just, ship blew just up? One? Just one, yeah. No, somebody stunned him. Like, fired a stun blaster around him. Oh. I have two successes. Okay, good. You do not fall unconscious. Fortunately, this guy is not so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, he is going to shoot at you. Who, me? No. no. They're all firing at Kaz. Because apparently they want to take a hostage, captive, or hostage or captive or whatever. Ooh, this is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished, Kaz. I'm ready. That's seven lethal. Ouch. I think that puts stun into your last box. No, he takes the straight up lethal burden. I know. But the it moves everything that, yeah. to the right. Oh. I would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so with the damage I already had previously that I hadn't built yet, that fills me up on lethal and I still have the bashing, so that goes to aggravate it on the yes. first box. Oh rug you're Dead, dead. No, he's no. dying. I'm he's bleeding out. Very, very close to. <laughs> Medi oh wait, that's me. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we did save that Zexto earlier. Yeah, yes. but there's no getting back to him with that. <laughs> yeah, let me just make the you know eleven click run back there while I'm bleeding out. <laughs> no problem. It's only about a two hundred meter run to the to your guys' starship. Yeah, if we can get you into the... Well, we still haven't even seen it anywhere. No, he saw it. Oh, he did? Yeah. I did? You saw him get shot? No. No, no, no. Our oh, ship. The ship? Oh, no. Uh, I was going to say... Yeah, you, I, I don't remember that. If, that, if I had no, seen it, I would have gone, no. forget you guys, that's my ship. No, you haven't seen it. It's concealed. It's inside of a building. But it's obviously within 200 meters of me. <laughs> Good to know. I mean, uh, I would never use player knowledge to influence character decisions. 